Hello and welcome back. So a few weeks ago I did a video using this Jackery, uh, the Explorer 240, and I did a video seeing how long a portable fridge stroke cool box would last using one of these batteries, and it wasn't very long. Uh, and someone made a comment wondering how long it would take, or how long this would last, to boil a kettle. So here we have a 12 volt kettle. I think it's about 120, 130 watts in power at 12 volts, uh, and it holds about two cups worth of water. I've probably got about um, about a cup and a half. I've not filled it completely full. It's probably about up to there. But I'm interested to see how long it would take for this to actually boil. Now, I've never used this before. Um, I've tried it out for a couple of minutes just to make sure it works and it gets warm, but I've not actually tried it. So let's see how long this will last boiling that. I can't see it being very long, but let's have a go. So we've got the kettle here. Open up the socket, plug in the kettle, turn the power on. Uh, we're currently at 100% battery and it's drawing 123 watts. That's going to start getting warm. Um, let's start the stopwatch and have a look. Right, so it's been going now for eight minutes and we are still drawing 123 watts and the battery is at 93%. It's warm to touch. I can't hear any bubbles inside yet, but uh, it's certainly getting there. Okay, let's give it a bit longer. Okay, so it's been 13 minutes. We are 89% battery, 124 watts. That's getting quite hot to touch. And if you put the microphone close, you can probably hear it boiling inside, or the bubbles at least, popping away. Okay, let's give it a little bit longer. Right, we've been going 16 minutes. 124 watts still, and it's 86% battery. So we're getting there. It's starting to make quite a bit of noise now. It's hot to touch. See a little bit of steam coming from it. Let's have a look inside. Yeah, I can see bubbles. I can't show you from this angle. I'll show you afterwards once it's boiled. I'll show you the inside. But it's starting to certainly boil around the edges of the, uh, of the element. Let's just put it back and we'll come back to it in a few more minutes. Like I say, it's just about 17 minutes now. So uh, give it another couple of minutes, I think. Right, okay, so we're now at uh, 18 minutes and five seconds. It's just clicked and the light's gone to green. And we're at 85% and we're just drawing one watt, which is presumably just the circuitry inside. So that's not too bad really, 18 minutes. For the power of the kettle, that's not too bad, obviously. Okay, let's have a look inside. Okay, so we'll very carefully open this up. There we go. So you can see the elements in there. A bit of steam coming out. Let's see uh, how much water we have in here to use. So this is um, a large-ish mug, so we'll have a look to see what sort of volume I've just boiled. There we go, so I've actually got a bit left in there, it's not all gone, and I'll certainly give myself a full mug there. So that's quite a, quite a good amount of water. I think for 18 minutes, it's not too bad. So I think for what I paid for this, about £20, it's not a bad price at all. It's certainly done the job, it's worked well, it seems safe enough. Quite impressed with the elements in there. It'll do two cups, although I'll probably just be doing the one for myself. And, um, you know, using only 15% of my battery, I'm very impressed. This will be ideal to use in your car or your camper as you're travelling along. Um, you know, you can... Uh, 
be charging your car battery whilst you're driving and uh, still power your kettle. Saves lighting up your gas. So no, I'm very pleased with that. Uh, the other thing I like about it is if you are traveling with this, one of the good things is of course the water is not going to leak out because you've got a little tap, push button tap on here. So it's not going to spill out until you press, press your button in. So that's quite a useful little addition as well. Um, the one thing I did notice, the wire did get a little bit warm. I think if it had got any hotter, I would have been a bit concerned. However, it didn't go soft, uh, but there was a little bit of heat from the wire. But once it got to a certain kind of temperature, it didn't seem to get any worse throughout the experiment. So I'm not overly concerned about that. But certainly it did the job and uh, it did it better than I thought it would. So potentially it's a, it's a viable option if it's something that you think you might need. Um, I'm not advertising these, I'm not doing proper reviews, that's not the purpose of the video. However, I did get it from, uh, where did I get it from? Amazon. So I'll, uh, I'll hunt out the link and I'll, uh, I'll stick it in the description below if you are interested. But uh, like I say, it's, it makes no odds to me. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not paid or, you know, advertising this at all, so. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.